Hi, I'm Erica Haugtva, and today I'm an assistant professor of English at South Dakota School of Mines and Technology. I first met Frederick when I was a freshman at Ohio State University in undergraduate. Um, and I've known Frederick all the way through undergraduate and graduate school at Ohio State. Frederick is an incredible teacher, and he is an outstanding professor um, who is really differentiated from the rest of professors I've known because Frederick genuinely cares about students and he puts students first. He brings student work to the forefront um, and he's especially interested in bringing um, minority students to the table to making them aware of, uh, of opportunities and encouraging them, making them um, believe in themselves. Uh, Frederick, I've seen Frederick do this in a number of ways. He especially does this with Latinx students, um, but he also does this with students from underprivileged backgrounds, younger students. He started the um, Depth Literacy Initiative at Barrington Elementary in Upper Arlington, um, and he started LASER at Ohio State. And um, I'm really, really impressed by the way that Frederick has always been able to center students throughout his career. And that is very different than most other faculty members. And his mentorship always means something. Um, he always stands by his students and helps them uh, get ahead and believe in themselves. And that's what makes Frederick a really great nominee for this award. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me be a part of this video. My name is Caitlin Marisol Sweeney Romero. I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of English, and Professor Aldama is my advisor. I wanted to just talk really briefly about just the impact he's left at OSU, and especially thinking about that through the lens of my experiences with him. Um, I met him, of course, through the process of applying to OSU. I was kind of, you know, directed to him by my previous advisor at my last institution, and my last advisor really encouraged me to reach out to Dr. Aldama because he knew that he would be someone I could talk to about looking for opportunities to do community-based work concurrent to doing my academic work in my PhD. Um, and I have worked extensively with Dr. Aldama by way of the laser program, Humcog, uh, he's my advisor. I, I observed him for my 8903 teaching requirement. I co-edited a special issue with him for a journal. I've submitted to his anthologies. I've um, indexed some of those anthologies. Um, all of this, of course, is to say that I think what's sort of most foundational to Dr. Aldama's impact with graduate students, and for me especially, is his willingness to be a very generous collaborator. I so appreciate the ways in which he has created spaces for me and others to have so many professionalization opportunities that really allow us to kind of experience the various facets of academia, especially when we are going through the process of figuring out if we want to stay in academia or do an alt-act position. I especially find myself grateful for Professor Aldama because of the fact that he brought me into the SOULCON program when it was at Ohio State. I volunteered for SOULCON initially before transitioning into the central coordinator role, and that has been so valuable to me as a grad student and also just a Latina person living in the state of Ohio. Uh, it was a huge culture shock for me to shift from living in Southern California and going to college there to then coming to Ohio State, which is of course a predominantly white institution. Um, and because of participating in SoulCon as a central coordinator and learning from Aldama's ways of programming, getting to know other folks involved with SoulCon, and just in general kind of learning tips and tricks from him of thinking about community engaged programming. I can definitely say I'm a much better scholar who has so much experience in thinking about what is an institution's responsibility in terms of being engaged with and in dialogue with the local community especially in thinking about folks who aren't quite on campus yet, right? Especially um, so important for uh, Dr. Aldama's mission has always been K through 12 students. And through supporting SoulCon and HumCog and LASER, I can say with confidence that I really got to know so many members of the Columbus community uh, who are K through 12 age because of Dr. Aldama's commitment to really honoring and including them in college level programming to ensure that they see pathways that are viable towards uh, a kind of um, pursuing higher education.
So all of this is to say that I'm so glad to see that Dr. Aldama is being recognized in the Hall of Fame. I am so grateful for his impact on me and on, you know, just for the legacy that he has in general for really being so committed to um, the work that so many of us aspire to do as well. So thank you, Dr. Aldama. I really appreciate you. Dr. Aldama Feve, congratulations. I cannot think of somebody who has worked harder to earn this lifetime achievement uh, and honor. You have done so much for The Ohio State University. The first thing that comes to mind is the Role Models Day that he worked on, that he built. It was a tremendous undertaking. And I remember bus after bus of young students rolling in from all parts of Columbus. He brought together so many kinds of people to help young students of color, young students who have been historically underserved to see themselves both on the OSU campus and also as connected to all this range of professional professional prospects. There was also in the fall SOLCON, which is the Black and Latinx um, cartoon and comics expo on campus. So he lent visibility to Latinx creativity in ways that were not happening, a very compassionate, very human way of approaching the needs of comic artists and cartoon artists of all ages. So there would be the young people's panel, the young people's space for questions. There would be the more, I wanna say, rigorous and academic approach. Um, So anybody with any interest in these genres could find a home And it was a really fantastic space for the outsider people of color who, you know, maybe it's not sports, you know, maybe not everybody's into sports. Maybe some of us are into comics and speculative genres. So they had a home. You have made such a difference in my life. And I will be celebrating that throughout my professional career at every level. And when I turn around and figure out if there's something that I can do for a student, if there is a door that I pass through and I can figure out how to widen it, that's the kind of thing that I get to pay forward because of the kind of mentorship that you offered me. And I will value that forever. Congratulations. Frederick Luis Aldama's legacy has been a true inspiration to me as a Latina PhD student studying in the humanities at The Ohio State University. He is not only an amazing professor, but also a community leader who has developed outreach programs for BIPOC youth, like the Latinx Space for Enrichment and Research Student Mentoring Program and the Humanities and Cognitive Sciences High School Summer Institute. He also published scholarly and creative works on Latinx representation in comics and mainstream popular culture, where he continuously makes room for the next generation of Latinx voices to be heard and seen in historically challenging spaces. His book, Latinx Superheroes in Mainstream Comics, won the 2018 Eisner Award for Best Academic and Scholarly Work, demonstrating his positive impact in both academic and public spaces for the greater Latinx community. He also produced the first documentary film on the history of Latinx superheroes in mainstream comics and co-founded SoulCon, a brown, black, and indigenous comic expo. His dedication to helping BIPOC scholars, artists, writers, editors, filmmakers, and illustrators flourish is a beacon of hope for social justice and culturally diverse change. I can only hope to one day generate as much of an impact for Latinx youth in the United States as he has.